Hey everybody, Dylan Distraction here, coming to you live from Batlantic Studios. Thought I'd do a quick back to the drawing board talk about comic book choice on my drawing table, Ghost Machine, uh, number one, Image Comics. This is the uh, sketch cover, and I'm going to draw on it. So, uh, really cool seeing all these creators coming together to create Ghost Machine. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Jason Fabok and Gary Frank and Hitch and Johns. I think they're incredible. Maniple's great. Meltzer's awesome. Ivan Rise is awesome. So really excited to see what they're going to do and create their own comics in a shared universe. This Geiger book looks awesome. This Red Coat one looks really cool. Um, but really the one I'm super psyched about is Rook. So I just read it. Um, it's only a few pages. It's it looks really awesome. Fabox designs are so neat. Uh, I love a good helmet. <laughs> so anytime you got characters in like dope helmets, it looks dope. Paper's really nice. Cover stock's really great. And this is a big book for five bucks. So that's always my thing is if I'm going to get a $5 book or a $4.99 book, I really want there to feel like there's some substance to it. So the whole idea behind this rook story is that the there's like this post-apocalyptic world that they were brought to and they control different animals based on their helmets so rook controls like birds and this guy swine controls i guess pigs and at the beginning here they're being chased by a giant tiger thing So Rook Exodus looks like an incredible comic. Super excited to see this. Such a fun looking character, really great looking world. I like how they kind of brought the opacity back a little bit or kind of washed out the background characters on this one. It's a neat color effect, kind of like a color hole, but even like the trees are even further back. Really creates some beautiful depth. Going to be fun to see this world. And I don't know how this world is going to tie in with the other worlds. Seems like there's they're in different time periods. But somehow they're all kind of wrapped together. It's a shared universe from what I understand. So Ghost Machine. So I thought I'd draw that character Rook on the cover, on the sketch cover. Cool stuff in the back too. I don't know what any of this stuff is. High Street? No, no, but this Rook Exodus. That's that's my jam. That's right up my alley. Looks like action figures, right? Like the machines and the guns and the... <clears throat> so pretty cool. Alright, let's see if I... I have no idea what this character looks like, so... Let's see something like that, and something like that. Or maybe give him like a gun, like that. So yeah, I'm really hopeful and optimistic that comic books in 2024 and beyond are going to be exciting and, and action-packed and going to be cool stories and cool environments. <clears throat> I think it's an interesting time right now for comics. Definitely a lot of changes, a lot of challenges, so... I'm really hopeful that things kind of come together and start working out for everybody. But, you know, not really under my control. It's, it's out of my control. So all I can do is just try to make awesome stuff and be excited when I see things that I think are awesome. And this Jason Fabok ghost machine looks, looks awesome. So I try to tell people about stuff I think looks cool and hopefully other people get excited about stuff that looks cool. Yeah, we'll do something like that, and then like some smoke or something. You know, the guy holding the gun pose. Yeah, I'll go with that. And let's see, the helmet is going to be uh, tough to draw. Let's see how consistent he keeps it. Let's see. He's got a center bar. It's all digital, so I'm sure he just kind of like cuts and pastes it and then reworks it. That's how I would do it. I'd draw it once. And then paste it in every time and then be and then just draw over it. Change it. 
So, all right, it's got like a center bar and then like a beak. So center bar, beak. Let's go with that part first. All right. So center bar, beak. Cool. Secondary beak. Cool. Eyeballs. Cool. And then brow. Okie dokie. Getting there. What's that? Connects around. Oh, jeez. Man, Fabbox giving himself quite the challenge. All right. Another piece. Angry eyebrows. Oosh. All right. Another row. Okay. An another row. And then another row. Something like that? What's the side look like? More complex insanity. Okay. Boish. And then something like that, maybe? Yeah, I'm close. I think I'm close. Maybe. And then one of these. Oh, my gosh. All right. That's way too complex. So hard to draw. And so hard to draw multiple times. You'd have to really, really work to get comfortable with that. You, you know what you would do? Or what I would do? Uh, you could make a 3D render of it. Or make a little maquette. A little tiny clay version of it. So then anytime you're like, oh, and you could just hold it up and spin it. But I bet if he's working digitally, which I know he is, because it's previously has worked digitally, probably got a 3D model of that, 3D render. So then he only has to really draw it super complex once and then drops in a 3D render. So Jason Fabok, if you're watching, 3D render? Is that a SketchUp bad boy? Just as an underdrawing, just as a reference? I would. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. Especially something as complex as that. So then I just zippity do, kind of bring it up a little bit. The rest of them's less specific. The rest of the character design. Jacket. Nothing. Knee pads. I'm not even gonna draw that far down. So jacket, spiky glove, spiky shoulder. Birds. I draw some birds. Bird. Right. Birds. Birds. I'll just put one bird in. How many birds you need? One bird? One bird's good enough. We need multiple birds? I don't need multiple birds. I think one bird's fine. If you need more than one, then you get too many birds. Is this thing working? No, not even close. We need a pencil trapper over here. Pencil trapper. Anybody. All these art supplies. I don't have a gosh darn pencil sharpener. Crumbs. Yeah. I knocked the camera. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Uh oh. Yikes. Okay, we're back. We're back. Whew. It's close. Almost lost the whole rig. I don't have a pencil sharpener. It's like, oh, what's still on distractions? Lives like well, it's all, you know, twenty minutes in looking for a pencil sharp, and it's pretty, it's pretty entertaining. It's pretty compelling stuff. And then he finds a pencil sharp and immediately snaps the graphite. All right, Let's see if we can figure this guy out. All right, so we have face. I'm gonna have to pencil this pretty tightly because. Um, I wish I could like rip out the page and hold it off to the side to look at it. But I can't. So I gotta keep opening it up. Oh boy. All right, so we got sort of this shape here. I'm gonna have to simplify this. It's just 
there's just too much going on. Even this one is less. Nope, still in my same amount of complex. It's the same amount of complex regardless. So these, so under the eyes, this is kind of a key element here. So this is under the eye part, which goes around, and these have holes in them, and then that comes this, ah, I'm getting it, to the top beak, all right, which is a flat front, oh, this is compelling audio, still in distraction, struggling with drawing this hyper complex helmet, which has a, okay, and then and then this comes down like that. I see why it draws it straight on so many times. Can I put any of this in shadow? I don't think so. All right, and then it'd be funny if he makes a call out and be like, hey everybody, if you love Rook Exodus, let's see you post your fan art. People will be like, no, <laughs> I refuse. No, I will not draw this helmet. You can't make me. Okay, and then this piece, maybe? Oh, boy. We're, we're getting a little, I think we lost the plot a little bit there towards the end, but I think we're close. That is a center line. So yeah, this character Rook, he can control, he can control birds. So he's the bird guy. So if you're like, like Hawkman? No, Hawkman doesn't control birds. Hawkman is a bird. Hawkman is a hawk. Rook is, oh boy, I, I, problem with me is that I have such a short attention span like eesh. I'm gonna have to ink this thing god damn it I hope not maybe not all right I think I can shadow that area maybe boy I have such a short attention span that I can't I can't um focus on drawing something this complex because I get bored with the complexity of it. Like Spider-Man's webbing, like, oof, it's just so much webbing. All right, and then that comes out. All right, all right, I think that looks dope. And then that. But, you know, you draw it once and then you remember forever. Or never again. Okay, we're good. I think we got that. We're good. Oh, oh crap, I lost the page. Hold on. We lost the page. Here he is. Okay. Dark. Dark. There you go. Looks badass. All right. I'll take it all back, Jason. This looks incredible. This character's incredible. The design's incredible. Not aggravatingly hard at all. Oh, I gotta do the little beak nostrils cool all right cool um, hey if anybody wants this sketch cover because it's going so great if anybody wants it let me know message me I'll sell it to you so happy to do it so if you're like oh man i really want that dylan distraction drawing of a rook cool yeah message me i'm gonna make it available okay good i might just pencil it though i mean i don't know if i'm gonna go back through and ink it i'm already aggravated but if you want it inked, I'll ink it. Or if you want to ink it, I mean, you just want the raw pencils, let me know. Although, I'll probably ink it. By the time you watch this video, it'll probably have been inked. All right, now that seems pretty okay. I think I got all the parts and pieces, all the bips and bops, all the bibbles and bobbles. It's kind of close. Where does that part go? I mean, it's quite possibly the most detailed helmet I've ever seen. It's like Mark Sylvester drawing the darkness, 
uh, different every time. <laughs> it's like, you ever see Mark Silvestri's? He's even said, he's like, I don't know how to draw the mask. I just draw it different every time. It's like, yeah, yeah, cool. So, yeah. If you can get away with it, why not? All right, so then. So that goes like that. Let's get some sort of stuff in there. Get some sort of, what's the rest of them look like? Got guns, right? Yep, super duper laser guns. So I'll draw some super duper laser guns, something like this. Something like that. Kind of laser gun-ish. Cool. And then he's got like a hand holding the gun. Gloves? Yeah, gloves with spikes. Spikes, spike gloves. Where's the spikes? How many spikes? Just on the left, there's eight spikes. All right, so let's get this. Kind of a deal going on. Forearm. Forearm spikes? No. Just on the right arm. Left arm is wrapped. That's a wrap. Man, even the guns are complex. I'm not drawing that gun. I'm just drawing this gun. Yeah, I love Jason Fabok's work. I haven't read Three Jokers yet, but um, I loved his work on the button. I thought that the button, the Flash, Batman crossover, it's one of my favorites. Him and Howard Porter, like, going back and forth, just trading pages. I thought that was dope. Such a fun story. Oh, it's got spikes on that shoulder. All right. Shoulder spikes. Uh, yeah, I love Jason Fabok's work. Um, definitely, it's, it's fun to see how his evolution from, like, uh, David Finch... Assistant, essentially, protege, to being his own creator, artist. Been really cool to see that. And, um, such a fun sort of evolution. So we'll say that's like a shoulder thingy. We'll go with that. It seems fine. And then we'll bring this up a little bit. Camera's gonna fall right in my lap again. Uh, we're losing it. We're losing it. Hold on. Time out. Such a professional rig we got here. It's not just a bunch of not just a bunch of pieces of wire hanging them together randomly. There we go. All right, you still see. So what's the shirt look like? Jacket. Jacket. Okay. So, trench coat. Pretty classic, awesome anti hero look. Trench coat. I do that. Dark. Some like that. Back of the gun. Gibberish. Love it. A bunch of random gibberish lines. That's how laser guns work, right? Yep, good. That piece connected to that piece. Cool, dope, love it. Maybe you want that part to have lines on it. Radical. some point here I might speed up this drawing just cuz might be kind of boring to watch me just draw like this all right ba -ba -da bing ba -ba -da boom 
forearm, elbow, tricep, bicep, shoulder. And then loins. What else they got going on here? Just a bunch of lines. Bird. I think the bird shaded, shadowy. And then smoke. 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 more of these things. These are fun. Lines. Lines. See, I'm excited for this Ghost Machine series. This shared universe. Uh, looking forward to seeing Rook. I think it's going to be a fun comic. The Rook book. And, um, yeah, fun character to draw. I was, you know, joshing around, kidding around about the complexity of it. It's for sure complex, but fun. I mean, once you... I, I like the look of it. That's why I'm drawing it. I think it's cool. It's fun to try to practice stuff that's not you know, not as familiar with, and so, you know, you draw Venom a thousand times, you draw Batman a million times, and you're like, what else is there? It's like, well, there's this dude, completely new dude. I was like, this dude's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's cool. All right. Tellindistraction.com, that's my YouTube channel, Make Comics Cool, that's my Patreon, Dillinator's Art, you want to see more examples of my work, uh, Atlantic Store, Atlantic Studios, you want to buy anything. Um, yeah, thanks for supporting my work. Thanks for liking my work. Thanks for sharing, subscribing, thumbs up. And if you want to buy this, DM me, message me, let me know. Happy to sell it to you. Ghost Machine. And if you want me to ink it, I might ink it. I don't know. See how I feel. Okay, thanks. Bye.